Hafede Maninahu Zanmaniluhu. July 21st marks 74 years since Guam was liberated from Japanese forces, beginning a new era of peace for our island home. As we prepare for our Liberation Day festivities, I encourage you to take a moment to honor and celebrate the lives of those who gave so much so that we could live today as free men and women. On July 21st, 1944, American forces stormed the beaches of Assen and Agate and, under heavy fire, fought their way inland. They brought a new hope to thousands of Chamorros who had endured the pains of war. It was through the Chamorro spirit of Inafa Maulik that U.S. forces were able to persevere and triumph during that intensely fought battle. We celebrate today and every year this pivotal moment in our history when the whole island comes together to celebrate our Liberation Day. This Liberation Day, let's remember the lives lost, the lives of brave military service members and brave Chamorros. Let's embrace this year's theme of strengthening the spirit of Guam by never forgetting those who came before us. Governor Calvo, on behalf of the men and women of Joint Region Marianas, Naval Base Guam, and Anderson Air Force Base, we wish the people of Guam a happy Liberation Day. It is truly an honor for all service members to be part of such a momentous occasion. See Jules Maasi Admiral, and may God continue to bless the United States of America, our military sisters and brothers, and our island. Biba, Biba Liberation! Biba, Biba Tautautanu! Biba, Biba, one Guam. Guam.